Welcome to the tutorial on creating BDD tests using Squish GUI Tester. We'll be using the following feature file where I'm testing a new address book application and you can see from the scenario that I have an address book being created and then I have my various statements that create my test given the application is running, when a new address book is created, then the address book should be blank. Very simple and easy to understand. So I can take this feature file, copy and paste it into Squish GUI Tester if I've created it using another tool for example, or I can create it directly using Squish. To create our new BDD test, we'll select the new test button and select a new BDD test case. When you create a new BDD test case, you're automatically given a template. Again, you can take an existing feature file that you've written in Gherkin from any other location and copy and paste that, or you can begin writing your feature file here. I've simply copied and pasted my feature file. When I do that, you'll notice I have some warning statements showing me that there's no automation behind these given statements. I have my given, when and then statements in this particular example and I need to automate them. To automate them I can come to my list of scenarios of which currently I have one and select record. I can record all scenarios in a given test case from here or I can also right click and record any missing steps in one or more scenarios. When I click record it launches my application but also launches a control bar that indicates what step I should be recording, given the application is running. Okay, well, the application's running, I'm finished with that step. When a new address book is created. So I'm going to perform those actions related to that step. And then again, once it's complete, select finish recording this step and continue execution. Then the address book should be blank. In this case, I'd like to create a verification point to verify the address book is blank. Now that I've completed those steps, I've now completed the recording of my BDD test. I have automated something that is easy to read and easy to understand. If I click run, this will now execute. With the results showing directly within the feature file as well as within the test results down below. The results are easy to understand. If you go based on a feature, each feature can have multiple scenarios. Each scenario then has its various steps, and if anything fails, it's very easy to understand and pinpoint where the issue occurred. Now where is the automation behind this? If I right click on any step within my feature file, any statement, I can switch between the feature file and the implementation file. This will show me the steps in the implementation file for that statement. You can manually create these within the steps file, which is in your test suite resources, available to all the test cases in your test suite, or you can record them. You also have the ability to share functions or other script files with the steps file so that you can call functions that you may have written previously or that you'd like to reuse from the various steps in your BDD tests. Now by taking this approach, you've automatically modularized your tests almost without even needing to refactor them. You can take other functions that you've written and call them, and then everything is reusable. If I create a new test now, and I begin typing, as I begin typing, any steps I've previously automated are now available using statement completion much like code completion when you're scripting. As you have more and more of these different statements, the more you begin creating tests, the more options you'll have 
when creating tests and adding new steps. You'll also notice that we can use variables from within our statements as well. To learn more about the other types of scenarios you can write, variables, and the various syntax, take a look at the tutorial that we ship with in our Examples directory within your Squish package. Here you can see a number of different scenarios, data-driven scenarios, scenarios using variables, and scenario outlines. The complete Gherkin syntax is supported. And again, behind the scenes, behind those Gherkin statements, are the implementations. The implementation file, just like you've done with prior Squish test cases, is automated then using the scripting language you've chosen to use, but now with these corresponding lines that correspond to the various BDD statements. Thank you for watching this tutorial on working with Squish BDD tests.